Oops. Hello, class. Can you hear me? Okay, good, good, good. Get some water. Okay, just give me a moment while I do attendance. So, where am I?
Uh, Jung Hyuk, what's uh, what's your uh, what's your uh, name for the class? Oh, wait, never mind. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What am I missing here? Oh. Okay, let's see. Today is the fourth, right? Okay. Uh, so today's unit, uh, oh, let me pull up the. Okay, uh, so today is unit six. Oops. Just lost it. Uh, unit six vocab. And actually today, uh, I actually wanted to go to uh, kind of go through a little bit about how, I want to give you a chance to like try to use uh, Zoom to to do uh, presentations. Uh, you're not going to actually do a presentation. What I mean is, I just want you to see how it will work. Because uh, I know I'm sure some of you are maybe a little nervous about that. So so we'll figure out. I'll uh, I'll find a way to show you how to do that. But uh, so we'll we'll try to go kind of quickly through Unit Six vocab today excuse me and then um yeah and hopefully i don't know if you'll have too much time for the project today but maybe maybe uh next class i'll go through unit eight vocab quickly uh next monday as well uh so that way you can have some time to work on the projects with your group okay um so let's see here uh let's go ahead and get to kahoot and if you don't remember, you'll need to go to kahoot.it and here we go. Unit six. Um, there's your code if you need it. Did I turn up the sound? Thank you. 
Uh, well, looks like we've got almost everybody. Yeah, that's everybody. All right. Oh, I think somebody popped in and out, but that's okay. I think they'll be back. All right, so we'll go through this quickly. Which vocabulary term would best let's describe this picture? Which you may not be able to see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, help out, help out, right? So the one animal, right? The, just look at it again. The cow is helping out the bear, right? To get the candy. I assume it's candy. All right, uh, let's see. So swift lizards on top, 1,000. Nice, good solid number there. All right. William Shakespeare married a woman named Blank. She has the same name as a... Famous movie actress. Ian Hathaway. Right, Anne Hathaway. Uh, ooh, expert panda, nicely done. Okay. Although her painting skills are well blank, she can't blank the fact that she needs more practice. Sorry, class. Whoa. Oh, I think I closed it. Oh, no. I think I just closed it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I changed my, I moved my camera and I, forgot that I have a touch screen and I hit the X. Sorry about that class. I somehow closed the window. Wait on uh, two students, one student. Two students, 
One student. I think we'll just go ahead and get started. Sorry, class, I'll keep my hands away from the, the screen. Okay, which vocabulary term would best describe this picture? Hopefully this is the same picture. Ooh, different one. Check up on, right? Yeah, check up on. Uh, so they're watching, right? They're watching the their their kid. Okay. Ooh, dazzled kitten. Nicely done. Because she's a police officer, Betty feels and blank to uphold the law at all times. So this means to to uphold means to to keep the law or to practice the law. Obligation, there we go. Obligation to keep the law, yeah, keep the laws better. Oh, Lucky and Paula on top, Dazzle Kitten second. It's not very wise to blank the words of someone that has lied before. Yeah, trust, right? If somebody lies, someone has lied before, you want you don't want to trust them. Okay. Find the list with the synonym for the word appropriate. So one list has one word that has a synonym or similar meaning for appropriate. Yeah, so uh, suitable is a similar meaning to appropriate. <sighs> okay, so Dazzled Kitten on top, Lucky and Paula second. Swift Elephant coming up next. Many blank can enjoy blank like free shipping and returns by shopping online. So this is free shipping and Free shipping of packages and free returns of packages. I know returns is confusing here, but free package returns. All right, uh, consumers, right? Many consumer, consumers can enjoy benefits like free shipping and returns by shopping online. Good. Ooh, Laz, uh, Lucky and Pal is getting the bonus points now. All right. The little girl was blank of breaking the vase, but wouldn't admit it. So wouldn't admit it means, you know, she won't say she did it. Yeah, she was guilty. She she broke the vase, maybe accidentally, but she wouldn't admit it. So Lucky and Paula's first. Wow. And then dead and then dazzled kitten. 
IKEA, the ready-to-assemble furniture company, has its headquarters located in what country? Or which country? So headquarters are the main office. This is the main office. Yeah, Netherlands, this is tricky. It is from Sweden. The company started in Sweden, or the shop started in Sweden, but they didn't, they have their main office in the Netherlands, I think maybe for tax reasons. Oh, sorry. If you are blank, you will not use your credit cards for unnecessary purchases. Sensible, sensible, right? So sensible is like being smart and careful and yeah. Uh, okay, Bucky and Powell is on first. I didn't want to blank her decision to choose a college based on my experience, so I said nothing. Influence, right. I didn't want to influence her decision. So it's like I didn't want to help her make the decision or I didn't want her to make the decision because of what I said or my experience, right? So I said nothing. Ooh, Swift Elephant moving up. Second spot, nicely done. The first atom bomb, so the atom bomb is the nuclear bomb was successfully tested in which U.S. state? New Mexico. Yeah. If you said Washington, D.C., that means there would be no more U.S. government. So the country would not exist. Sorry, right. it's kind of funny. Uh, ooh, Wise Eagle coming out of nowhere, flying up the charts. Well done. Find the list with the antonym for the word profit. So antonym is the opposite meaning. So one word will have the opposite meaning. Uh, yeah, so profit is the money that you make, right? The money that you get. And bills, that's the money you have to pay, right? Like your credit card or phone bill, it's not your profit. Wise Eagle, flying away with it. William Shakespeare married a woman named, oh, we all know this one. Let's all get this one right. Anne Hathaway. So somebody, one person got it wrong. Wow. 
Why is the eagle? Getting a lot of points there. Leonardo da Vinci's 15th century mural, The Last Supper, is located in which Italian city? Milan. Actually, a lot of uh, Leonardo da Vinci's work is in Milan. All right. No big changes there. Although her painting skills are well blank, she can't blank the fact that she needs more practice. I think we did this one too. Developed, right? De developed and ignore. So her painting skills are developed, which means she has a lot of practice already. So she can't ignore the fact, but she can't ignore the fact that she needs more. All uh, right. Soccer player blank that the referee make more phone, make more calls. And calls are judgments. I'll explain this in just a second. But in a sports, a referee makes judgments or makes calls. Yeah, demanded, the soccer player demanded that the referee make more fair calls. So as I said, um, a referee, uh, usually they have the black and white shirts in, the, in sports. Not always, but uh, anyways, they make judgments. So if you're playing baseball and you know, when you're, when you're batting, when you're hitting the ball, you stand, well, you stand here at the plate, home plate, and then you hit the ball and there's the lines, right? The, we say the inbounds and out of bounds, right? So if you're here, you hit the ball, it goes here, that's um, uh, it's foul ball. If it goes on this side of the line, that's good. You can start running. If it's on the line, you need the referee to look, see it and make a decision. Is it? Still good or is it bad? So that's what a call is. A call is just deciding, is that right? Is that wrong? Is that good? Is that bad? Find the antonym for the word fine. So opposite meaning. And I'll give you a hint. Fine is a noun here, not an adjective. Fine is a noun here. Yeah, so I don't think you needed the, the hints because you could see that all the synonyms, fee, damages, punishments, those are similar types of fines, right? So a fine would be like you're driving your car, you drive too fast, and then the camera sees that you're driving too fast. And then in the mail, you get a message that says you have to pay she man one. Right, that's that's the fine. She meant one. Okay, so wise eagles on top still. Dazzled kittens still in second. It's gonna be hard catching that wise eagle. It is wrong to blank, so I try not to speak honestly to my family or friends.
lie. It's wrong to lie, so try not to speak. Or try to speak. Try not to speak, honest. Ah. I wrote this wrong. It is wrong to lie, so try not to speak on it. This not should not be here. That's very confusing. So if you got that wrong, that's my fault. Uh, so I would, I need to get rid of that not. That's silly. Uh, Epic Ostrich, getting the bonus points. Welcome to the top five. Which vocabulary term would best describe this picture? I think we know the answer to this one. Oh, we don't know this one. Sorry, sorry. In charge of, right? So this guy, he is in charge of letting people come into the club and we're not letting them go in. Okay. Ooh, Swift Elephant, getting those bonus points. Find the synonym for the word pollute. Yeah, contaminate. So contaminate is like pollute. Same, same. Taz and kitten still in the second. Rising pollution increased and increased burning of fossil fuels has had a huge blank on global warming. Impact, right, impact, nice. And next one, which vocabulary term would best describe this picture? This one I think we know, yeah. Yeah, help out. All right, so Wise Eagle is first. Dazzled Kitten, oh, good job, Wise Eagle. Dazzled Kitten. Dazzled Kitten is second. Lucky Impala, third. Uh, so well done, everybody, actually. Well done, everybody. So um, last thing, so today I told you that I want to, uh, give me one moment. Um, oh, so I want to show you, or I want you to get a chance to try and use uh, PPTs in Zoom. So you can have a little practice uh, so you know what it's like to do the, um, the presentations for the project, right? Oops, I went to the wrong spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you into your project groups. And in your project groups, in your room, uh, you should try to use a PPT. Um, I, I'm pretty sure, I haven't done, I haven't tried this yet, but uh, when I put you into the room, uh, there should be at the bottom of the screen, the bottom of your computer screen, there should be a green button. And the green button should say something like new share. 
okay? And if, when you click on that green button, it'll give you choices of things that you can, of, of different applications that you can share on, with your computer screen onto other people's computer screen. Um, so after I put you into your groups, I'll write this down. After I put you into your private Zoom rooms with your groups, you should try uh, using PPTs or, or sharing, try sharing PPTs. Um, you don't have to make a PPT. You can just download one of my PPTs from eClass. Okay, so let me put you into your groups. Um, actually, uh, were there are there any questions before we go into our groups? Okay, so I'm gonna put you into your private Zoom rooms um, and I'm actually gonna come around and, and check and see how you're doing with the PPTs or trying to use the PPTs. And if, if you need help, I'll, I'll help you. Um, it doesn't, remember, it doesn't matter what PPT you use. Just uh, try to, everyone should try to use a PPT in the private room. Um, and maybe you can start talking about how you wanna control the PPTs when you do the project, right? So maybe, maybe just one person controls the PPTs or the, your group's PPT, or maybe you all take turns controlling the PPT. I'll, I'll let you talk about that in your private rooms, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna put you in your rooms and I'm gonna come by to help you out.
Okay. So, um, let's see. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, sorry, class. Just one second. Oh, I can't do that there. Uh, so can can anyone try and and use the the screen or share screen button? Ah, very good. Okay. Uh, so every uh, everyone in the group needs to try it because. Um, the reason I want all of you to try it, well, actually, uh, yeah, yeah. The reason I want all of you to try it is because if there's a problem with one person's computer, you need to be ready to be able to share the PPT on somebody else's computer, okay? So, and also you need to talk about how you are going to use the PPTs in your, or the, use the PPT in your presentation, okay? So I'm gonna go check on the other groups and, and I'll be back to check on you in a little bit. Okay, so do you have any questions before I go? Shh, shh, shh. Hey, hey, stop that. Sorry, class, my dog is barking. Uh, do you have any questions before I go? Yes, no, okay, all right. All right, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, so uh, I just was checking another group and they were able to get the PPT to work. Um, can, uh, can you, can someone in here try um, opening a PPT and sharing it on, on the Zoom? Ah, nicely done, Dong. Okay. Okay. So, uh, that looks like you you've got it. Uh, was that Dong or Dong Jun? I don't know who just did that, but um, everyone in the group needs to try this uh, right now because if one student's Let's, let's say, for example, Dong Jun is going to be the person who, uh, who, who, use, who does the PPT, who makes, you know, who controls the PPT on, on your presentation day. If for some reason his computer breaks, then another student needs to be able to be ready to do that, okay? Uh, so, so you'll need to uh, all try it. And then after you do that, uh, you need to talk about how you're going to do the presentation. Like who's gonna control the PPT? Are all of you gonna control it? Is one student gonna control it? You need to talk about that, okay? So, uh, sorry. Uh, I will, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. I get a student needs help.
cannot. Can you hear me, Jung Yun? Or sorry, Jung Jung Yang, Jun Yang. Sorry, Jun Yang. Sorry, I keep saying your name wrong. Jun Yang, can you hear me? Stop! Stop it! Stop! Okay. Uh, which group are you in? One. Okay, I'll put you. You're in group. Oh, okay. I see. I'll put you in group one. Okay. Zoe, stop. 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 Oh, very nice. Oops. I can't see. Okay. Uh, so who's doing? Uh, looks like. Um, is this Kang doing this? Yes. Ah, good. Okay. Um, so has has anyone else tried using the PPT or, or um, sharing the PPT? Has anyone else tried? So just Kang. Stop, stop it. Has anyone else tried using the PPT? Hello, hello, yes, no, yes, no. Min, Jihan, are you there? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you did it. You did it, Min. Okay. Jihan? Okay. Everyone did it? Yes? Everyone did it? Okay. Good. So uh, the reason I want you all to try it is so that if uh, there's a problem, Let's say, let's say, for example, Kong is supposed to uh, be the one student. It's, Kong is the only one controlling the PPT, right? Let's say that would, that's what you decide. Uh, if, if for some reason Kong's computer breaks, uh, then somebody else in the group, like Jian or, or Min, needs to know how to do it, right? Uh, that way, Kung can still do a pres do the presentation, and and not have to worry about uh, being the only one who can do the PPT or who can control the PPT. So, uh, my the next thing you need to do is talk to your group, talk to your partners, or talk, you know, together, and decide how you are going to use the PPT in the Zoom presentation. So is it just going to be one student and who's going to do it? And also, or is it going to be all of you? And what's the order? Who's going to do first, second, third, that kind of thing. Okay. So uh, do you have any questions before I go to another room? Stop. Stop it. Come here. Do you have any questions? Okay, good. All right. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, internet. Uh, are you opening a PPT? Yeah, we we just. Uh, trying, trying, making right? Making the order. Making the order. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, so you you're talking about who's gonna present first, second, yeah, yeah. third, right? Okay. Um, did uh, did everyone in? Sorry, let me change my view here. Did oh, I can't do that there. Uh, did everyone try uh, using the PPT? Like, uh, did everyone try um, controlling the PPT on here on Zoom? 
Mm. Uh, or was not it yet, just, was it just uh, I don't know who's controlling it right now. Uh, Max is controlling that. Oh, okay. Was it yeah. just Max that controlled it? Yeah, not, not yet we tested about other members can control. Oh, okay. Oh, can. Yeah. So I, uh, my advice, my tip is that uh, all the members try controlling a PPT um, because let's say, let's say uh, on the project presentation day, mm. Max is supposed to control the PPT. Okay, let's just say you, for example, that's what you, your group decides to do. However, yeah. if Max's computer breaks, uh, ah. right? Then, then Rat Monster and Juan, you need to be ready to be able to control the PPT. So everybody should try, okay? Uh -huh. And then, and then you can decide on the order, however you want to uh -huh. do it. I, I, I will not going to tell you what's the right order or how to do it, but you just need to be ready in case uh, somebody has a problem, okay? Okay. And and then after after everyone has tried. Um, controlling a PPT on Zoom, uh, then the next, you need to like decide the order like you were doing before I, you know, interrupted you. Okay, okay, thank okay? you. All right, I'll, uh, do you have any questions before I go? I'm gonna go, I'll be back, but I'm just gonna check on other groups. Okay. So do you have any questions before I go? None now. None sure. now, okay. All right, uh, I'll see you in a little bit then. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Hello. Um, did did you try using the uh, did you try controlling the PPTs in Zoom? Oh, there you go. Okay. There's Marcella. Good, good, good. All right, good. Um, so can everyone in the group, so I, I, we can see that Marcella can do it. Uh, Yubin and Donghun, can you also control PPTs in, in Zoom? So uh, who's doing this now? Oh, you been? Okay, good. Uh, Donghun, can you do it? Oh, nice, nice. Uh, Donghun, can you also do it too? Oh, okay, all right. So, oh, okay, now I see. Okay, yeah. Uh, very good. All right, good. So the reason this is important that everybody can do it is because if you, for example, for example, if you decide that Marcella is going to control the PPT on the presentation day, um, if if it's only Marcella that's going to do it, there could be a problem. Like Marcella's computer could break, right? So it's helpful to have Yubin or Donghun be ready to be able to control the PPTs on their computer, okay? So you guys have tested that and know how to do it, which is good. Uh, so the next thing that you need to do is decide how you're going to, uh, how you're going to use the PPT. So is it only gonna be one student controlling it? Is it gonna be all the students controlling it? And, and then also what's going to be the order? Who's gonna go first, second, third, okay? So I'll let you do that. Um, I'm gonna go talk to another group, but before I do, do you have any questions about anything?
Okay. Thank you, Marcel. All right, cool. Uh, all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, have fun. Hello, hello. Uh, so, Chloe, Ellie, uh, Clo sorry, not Chloe, Chloe, Ella, and Sally. Um, can you, have you tried controlling uh, PPTs in Zoom or showing PPTs in Zoom? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, not yet. Okay. Um, do you need help? Oh, there we go. Nicely done, Ella. Okay, good, good, good. All right, nice, nice. Very good. Um, so, Chloe and Sally, can you... So, so... Uh, I also want Chloe and Sally to try as well. And uh, the reason that I want you to try is if, let's, let's say, for example, for example, that Ella is going to be the one student in the group to, to uh, show the PPT and control the PPT, right? But uh, if Ella... On, on the day of the presentation, if Ella's computer breaks and she can only use her phone to, to do the presentation, she may not be able to control the PPT. So that's why Chloe and Sally, you need to be ready to, to uh, show the PPT as well. Uh, so this is a way to, to make sure that if there are no problems on the presentation day. So can you try that as well? Can you try showing a PPT, Chloe and Sally? Wow, nicely done, Chloe. Good job. And Sally, can you try as well? Are you using a computer, Sally? Yes, okay. Um, you don't need to download a PPT. You can just open the PPT app. Oh, nicely done, Sally. Good job. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. Yeah, so it looks like you're all ready to, to use the PPTs. That's good. 
so now uh, the last, I guess the last thing that you need to do is you need to talk to your group and decide uh, how you're going to do the presentation. So is it going to be just one student controlling the PPT or is it going to be all of you controlling a PPT? Um, so you need to decide on that. And then the second thing, so that, that was the first thing. Second thing is you need to decide the order. Who's going to be first, second, third. Okay. Um, so I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to go talk to other groups. Do you have any questions before I go? No questions? All right, good, good, good. All right. Um, well, uh, I'll let you guys get to work and then, um, yeah, I'll check back with you all later, okay? Hello, uh, I just put you back into your group. That's okay, that's okay. Just, uh, you, can, you can go back to your group, okay? Uh, yeah, I put you in room two. Um, uh, I don't know where it says. Maybe I can, or if I can move you there already. And input, uh, no. uh, oh, there you go. Okay, is there is there a message saying you can go to the room? Hmm. So I put you in there, but I don't know why it's one second. Let me just uh, quickly check. Go back in. Okay. 
I'm going to close all rooms. Okay, class. Um, where am I at? So we are pretty much finished. Oops. Oh no, what did I do? I don't know what I just did there. Okay. Um, so we're pretty much finished. Before we go, where's my chat? Um, what is today's homework? Yep, unit eight listening, right? Unit eight listening. Do you have to do it? No, no, right. Should you do it? Yes, 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 okay. Um, so if anyone has any questions about anything, anything, projects or anything, you can stay. If not, you can go. Thank you. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.